Hi everyone, how are you doing? Hope you're all well and safe and having a great day. My day's a little bit apprehensive. I'm going to try a painting challenge this morning and I'm not doing a 15 minute challenge. I'm doing a five minute challenge. I think I can produce a watercolour of these bluebells in Rebel 4, five minutes. Is it doable? Let's find out. Can I do a realistic watercolour in five minutes? I don't know, I haven't got a clue. Uh, I'm gonna try, this is, I'm just gonna do this simple scene of some bluebells. And I'm gonna use masking fluid. Uh, you've seen me do that before. I put this over here, I've got more space, I can make it a bit bigger for you. Uh, should I make the canvas a bit bigger? What I want to do is just get myself set up before I start because I've literally got five minutes to do this. And so I want to make sure I'm not moving things around um, once I start. So I'm going to use the masking fluid idea. Uh, I'll sh I'll, and I'm going to do a quick demo of how this works uh, if you haven't seen this before. But I, on my first layer, I, I paint some shapes, okay? And those shapes uh, could be anything you like. I've used this color, this yellow color, because that's the color of my actual masking fluid. In fact, my masking fluids more like this color, to be honest. Yeah, more like that. Uh, and then once I'm happy with that, I click this little M which says masking fluid layer. And then I can create a new layer. And then right at the end of this line, with it, it says empty, then there's a little dot influence layer. I touch that, and that means this layer, layer two, will be affected by that layer. So I can choose um, a different color. And I can change it with my brush. I'm using a watercolor brush. I want the mop. Uh, I want 50% water, I think. Leave the opacity at that. And, and then just paint over that. And if I just switch off layer one, or just click on the eye, you can see how that affects it. Okay, so that's what that's the technique I'm going to be employing. And um, it appears here that the blue has leached into that yellow somewhat so i guess i need to make these colors quite dense uh so anyway oh we've got all these runs and things which i'm cool about i want those uh, i'm just going for a kind of a, a really oh, so i'm going to delete everything back to uh the beginning I'll take off the masking delete that so that's layer one I need to be on the pen and I am all ready to go. I've got five minutes, five minutes. Can I do this? I need to start the clock. Where's my cursor gone? There we are. Okay, so let's start the clock. We started, I'm on the pen. Oh, I didn't set it to the right color. I mean, never mind. oh, my paper's moved. Oh my God, what a start. What's happening? I thought I got this all sorted. Right, okay. Nightmare scenario. So I'm just painting in some nice little pretty bluebells. I, when I'm painting uh, on the real watercolor, uh, and I never use brushes to apply this uh, masking fluid, I always use a pen because it will ruin a brush in minutes, literally. Uh, so that's why um, I'm using a pen here, really. I don't know if the pen is actually the best tool, the best brush to apply the masking fluid. I'm, I'm going to have to experiment with that more in the future. 
I'm trying to get a thick layer on here. Um, if I wasn't in such a rush, it would be the perfect tool. Maybe one up there. So that's the uh, masking fluid. So I can now click on the M. That's a lot of that layer. Create a new layer. Click on that little dot. Add influence. Change to the mop brush. Watercolor. Mop. Opacity. Water. I want to put just a little bit of blue. Just sort of in there. Brighter blue actually. Just around the edges of those. A little bit. And I want to go for some bright yellow. Change the brush size. And just put in a few of these dandelions. I'll do uh, go in for some lime green, really big brush. Hopefully, this is all going to run together quite nice. Go for a sort of a blue greeny color. That's it, add that in. Just build this up a bit. That'll do. New layer. Click on the little dot. I want this layer to be influenced as well. I'm choosing a liner brush now. I want that dark colour. And I'm just going to flick in some stems to these blue bells. I can change the colour up a bit as well. Oops. That's a bit too light. I don't want them sort of standing out too much there we go maybe back to the dark blue a few more a few grasses that'll do hide this layer now create another layer i don't need the dot i'll stick with this brush i'll take the opacity down a bit i'll go for a purpley blue and start painting in the uh, bluebells. That's opacity. That's it. Fifty six seconds left. Another layer quick get one yeah uh, take the brush size down a bit just up the opacity a little bit 41 seconds got plenty of time just add a little bit of shadow work onto my bluebells time 28 Pencil, sign it. Stop the clock. Five seconds to go. Finished. Woo! Five minute watercolor challenge. Bluebells uh, in watercolor. I love the way it's all running as well. I could dry that now, couldn't I? I could dry that paper and um so i got to go into every layer to do that there we are finished i love it <laughs> five minutes um i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have thanks a lot um Big thumbs up would be much appreciated. I've really enjoyed doing this. I hope you got a lot from it. You don't need to spend hours and hours and hours to get something looking nice. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I've got lots of videos like this. And I would love to be sharing them all with you. Don't forget everybody, stay safe, stay sane. And keep painting. And hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.